Hi everyone, welcome back to Heaven Heroes London. Thank you so much for watching. I know that it's been so long since I filmed my last video, uh, but so much has been happening with life, with family, with my career, and I certainly will fill you guys in when the time is right. But I absolutely missed filming. I miss you guys, and I am so glad to be back on YouTube. It makes me super happy to be creating content, sharing information, and yeah, just interacting with you all. Now I noticed that whilst I was away, we had quite a number of new subscribers, so very welcome to Heaven Heiress London family. Um, I'm so thrilled and touched that you actually subscribed whilst I was away. It just encourages me to show that you know my videos are being watched when I'm not here and it keeps me doing what I'm doing, so thank you so much. And um, I certainly will try my hardest. I certainly will be very intentional about uploading more videos on a regular basis for you guys. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So I wanted to create a different video from my typical sort of beauty uh, video, so makeup and beauty video. I wanted to do something that I think is quite topical given the time of year that we're in. In most countries, it's very, very, very hot right now. It's summer in the UK and temperatures today clocked around 32 to 34 degrees. Now that is really hot for us and record breaking, um, if I can say. So. What I wanted to talk to you today about is personal hygiene and this applies all year round. It doesn't just apply to summer, but it's more, I think, um, more apt to talk about it during the summer because you find that when you go on the trains and the buses, uh, when you share a cab with, with people or whatever it might be, you know, th this is the time of the year when you find that there's more offensive smells on public transport in, in the office, wherever, than usual. So I'm going to start with something very basic that I believe that most people are aware of, but you'd find that, you know, some people aren't. And so I'm going to go very basic on all these things I'm going to talk about and all the products you can find in your local drugstore or your supermarket. So you don't actually have to go out there and spend a ton of money on these products. Now, the first point that I have is taking a bath or a shower on a daily basis. This should not be negotiable. It should be something that you do every single day. Now, I personally shower and I have a bath twice a day. So I shower or I bath first thing in the morning and last thing at night. It doesn't matter what time I get home, whether 2, 5, 6 a.m., whatever it might be, I always, always cleanse before I go to bed. Now, I wanted to share a few of the products that I use uh, with you guys. You, of course, don't have to use the same products. Whatever works for you is perfectly fine. But I thought perhaps, you know, you would find it useful to see what products I actually use. This is the Palm Olive Aroma Moments uh, Just Fabulous Shower Gel. I much prefer to use shower gels than soaps uh, for several reasons. I love the foaminess that comes out of this, and this is very versatile. I can use this for a soak, a bath, or a shower, whatever it might be. You can use soaps as well. Whatever works for you is perfectly fine, as long as it deeply cleanses you. Juxtaposed with having a shower, you also want to be using some sort of a sponge a loofah, whatever works for you is perfectly fine. Now you want to use this to really get into those corners and crevices that are very hard to reach. Um, make sure you're, you're scrubbing your back, your inner thighs, uh, your underarms, you know, and your belly button actually. You should pay special attention to that as well because these areas tend to accumulate a lot of um, residue, if you will, sweat residues and, you know, uh, you know, just products residues as well. So you want to make sure that you're scrubbing on a daily basis to get rid of any buildups. Now, I actually discovered this when I traveled recently and I look forward very much to using it. It is a sponge that's made out of uh, wood bits. It actually feels quite coarse, so be, be careful when you use this on yourself. Don't sort of go scrubbing your skin off but I definitely think this would be very good for um, exfoliating which is what I intend to use it for this will definitely help you get rid of you know any residues on your skin and also dead skin cells will go whilst you use this so I very much look forward to using this I believe you can get these in African shops I got this in Nigeria the next thing to mention is more for the ladies and it's a uh, intimate area wash. I've actually run out of mine now, so I can't show you an example, but I'll try and see if I can sort of um, 
uh, insert a photo here to show you the one I use, which is the Frem Fresh Daily Wash, I think. It's incredible. I've been using it for years. It's very gentle on your nether areas. It's really, it's, it works really well. It's actually fragrance free and it's soap free as well. It's been tested and it works perfectly well for me. It keeps you fresh down there. It also has a pH balance uh, technology, which ensures that you're not too, um, well, it's not alkaline or acidic down there. You know, it, it just keeps you really fresh. And so the next thing I'm going to talk about is cleaning your teeth every single day. Once a day at the least is what is expected. I tend to keep my toothbrushes in containers like this. It just basically keeps all the germs away and makes sure that you know that no bacteria get into, into this. I cleanse this on a daily basis as well and I just find that it works really well because I travel quite a bit. So you want to make sure that you are cleaning your teeth every single day to avoid halitosis and to avoid a very offensive odor from your mouth. The next pointer is removal of bodily hair. Now I know that this is quite a controversial subject. Some people much prefer to be natural and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. As long as you are cleansing and you are washing yourself on a daily basis thoroughly, this shouldn't be an issue. I much prefer to be bare and to have less hair. Now there are several options you have when it comes to hair removal. So you can use a shaving stick. So with this you would use either water or um, some sort of a shaving cream to get rid of the hair. I don't tend to use this. I used to when I was much younger, but I found that it actually causes ingrown hair and it causes a uh, blackhead, so I, I've stopped shaving. The second option you have is waxing. So I personally visit my beautician once every three weeks to get rid of the hair. For me, it's therapeutic and it also just, it's relaxing and I also don't have to do it myself, so I'm a little bit lazy. But you can actually use a home wax um, kit. So this is the Beat Wax Strips. It's for legs and body and it's the Easy Gel Wax. There are 40 strips in here. You heat between your, your hands and you apply it to, your, um, to the areas that have hair and you apply some pressure, just making sure that it's all sort of you know, smoothed out and you just basically rip and the hair comes off. It's actually quite handy. I always keep a pack of this at home just in case I have an emergency session or I, I need an emergency session and I can't get to my beautician so I always keep a pack of this in the house. My next pointer is using deodorant. I much prefer using these are both Dove products. I absolutely love them because they work really well for me. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So these, yeah, these are the ones I use. What I also make sure I do is at the end of each day, I make sure I'm scrubbing my underarms to get rid of deodorant residues because that's again what causes ingrown hair and blackheads, and you don't really want any sort of you know clogging of your pores. So make sure you are washing. So my next pointer is using a perfume every day. You don't have to douse yourself in it and choke yourself and everybody else around you. Just a tiny bit, you know, spritz here and there would do for what it should last for the day, depending on what quality you buy. Now, I invest heavily, heavily in perfumes because I love scented oils. I love scented, you know, anything sort of, you know, sensual and scented. I absolutely love. And so these are a few of my bottles. I absolutely love this. I've had this for about uh, a year now. I bought it in November last year and I believe there's still a tiny bit left. Now this next pointer is more for my ladies. It keeps you smelling really incredible in your feminine areas. <laughs> So this is the always, oops, always daily panty liner. So you can use whatever you want. You don't have to pick these up. But for me, these work beautifully well. This has, I believe, 60, yeah, 60 individual panty liners in it. But I think they have bigger packs of 100. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think they do have packs of a hundred. Whenever I buy this, I buy it in bulk, so I don't, you know, run out. So one other tip I have, which has less to do with what you put on the outside and more to do with what you ingest, is drinking a ton of water. I drink uh, 
two liters of water every day. So I drink lots of water every day. And I find that that actually cleanses my system completely from food. So you find that some people smell a certain way, which actually smells like the food they eat. And that's because it actually sips through your pores. So that smell oozes out of your pores. And water helps you cleanse your system from the inside out. It's great for your skin and it keeps you glowing all year round. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have found some of these tips very useful and helpful. I certainly will be uploading a lot more videos like these to do with you know, personal hygiene, um, beauty, lifestyle, some chit chat videos as well. But don't forget to leave a comment below. Definitely subscribe and join the Heaven Heiress family. Make sure you click that notification button so you don't miss any videos from me. And I'm so glad to be back with you guys. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye for now.